Oh man, that was incredible. <laughs> oh, let's have a beer and then I don't know. I don't know what else. Can you say goodbye to that? Now? <laughs> well, we dropped off our last set of friends. We went shopping for groceries. I got the important stuff. And we have a lot to get done today. We do, because <laughs> this is like our last day in La Paz. It's our last day in La Paz. Yeah. We've been down here for a couple months. Yep. And we, we have lots of new plans. Yep. Right now we're supposed to be getting ready to cross the Pacific and we we're gonna Still see. Still do that? Yeah, we were. <laughs> it's just not working. The South Pacific Islands are mostly all closed and our end game is like, you know, basically working our way to New Zealand and Australia, which are also closed. So, so we have a new plan. <laughs> it's exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. We are going to take our boat up back up to San Carlos to store for the summer. And we're gonna jump aboard Wolfhound, the beautiful big schooner that belongs to our friends Lou and Steven. And sail with them to Hawaii. <laughs> so that's the plan. We've been go, go, go for the last month with family and friends visiting and taking a trip to mainland Mexico. And it's been a whole lot of fun and we can't rest up just yet. No. Because it's we still have go, to go, go. pack provision and move out of the boat. Get ready to go. So a lot of good stuff to come. New boat. <laughs> yeah, whole new boat. <laughs> uh, learn to sail a beautiful boat. And we still get across the Pacific. And we still get across the Pacific. Yeah. So exciting. Alright, let's get going. Yay. Go, go, go. <laughs> Are you ready to basically leave La Paz and start a whole new adventure? Because that's what it is. <laughs> Just breathe. Okay, I'm so excited though. <laughs> let's go, honey. Okay, honey, You're let's so go. Pretty. I know, I've been so excited. Give me some excitement. There you go. <laughs> ah, love it. That's much better. Now, where would we go? <laughs> Man, we had our work cut out for us. Between packing for the next four months off the boat and giving her a deep cleaning before hauling her out to sit on the hard for the summer. We're going to be living out of these bags for like four months. That's yeah. okay. But we had several days of slow sailing ahead of us, so we had plenty of time to get everything broken down and put away. I have a question for you. Serious. What are you going to do with all your hats? <laughs> How are you going to live without them and you can't bring them all? What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're just going to have to stay here. There's definitely not room for any no. of my hats. I guess I'll Maybe a one or two baseball hats shoved in the bottom of a bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. The sacrifices I make. <laughs> yeah. Huge sacrifices. Right, honey. Come sit here, next to your wife. We are on our way. Very exciting. Yeah. We've left La Paz and we've also dropped off a few bags with Lou and Steven. Yeah, they hauled out and they are 
painting their bottom so yeah. that it's nice and fresh for our crossing in yes. the next two weeks. So we're on our way north. We're on our way north. We're actually heading back up the Baja the way we came down this uh, earlier this winter. We'll kind of just island hop yeah. all the way up to where we began and then cross over, over. the Sea of Cortez. And then we haul out, get the boat all cleaned out, move out. Leave, Move her, in. leave her on the hard for six months, yeah. five months. I don't five know months, how long we'll be gone actually, but yeah, it's a whole new chapter that we're gonna embark on. It's very exciting, we, especially not just because we're going to Hawaii, but I'm so excited to cross the Pacific on a big, beautiful boat. Yeah. Like we're gonna actually learn how to sail um, a schooner, a proper boat, a proper boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, not that this isn't proper. No, no. We love you, girl, but man, this is. You know, yeah. we're going from one mast and two sails to four masts and two masts and four sails. Yes. So it's anyways. That's a we are going to miss our boat, uh, but it's going to be super exciting. We're really, really absolutely happy that we're actually crossing the Pacific. Yes. Um, even though it's not for our main destination, but honestly, I think everything happened for a reason. Absolutely, because, it's the journey, anyways. Yeah. Well, because. We weren't planning on doing any of the west coast of the United States or Hawaii for that matter. No, and we now planning. now we get to. Yeah. So that's a really cool opportunity and it should Very be exciting. Fun. Yeah. Yay. So we're motoring now. We're probably gonna have to motor for a couple days. Um, but we've but done well. We have done very well, yeah. in case anybody remembers. I don't know if we've ever mentioned it. Oh no, just every video <laughs> that you talk about. Yeah. <laughs> we have done really well with the fuel consumption because yes. we have really really made an effort to sail as much as we possibly can. And we have. We it's have. It's not like we've been sitting in the plaza this the, whole time. The, the only time that we, we have sat there a lot, but the only time that we've really cheated and motored was when we had friends aboard. And we just, you have to, it's fine. Yeah, we we accepted that. We want to show them a good time. And so we would motor. But yeah. as of to, right now, we've only used about a half a tank of fuel. So we really might good. even be able to get all the way over, up and over on just about that half a tank of fuel. We're, we are gonna refuel so that we, we safely have that fuel in the tank should we need it. But what we're looking at is, you know, our total fuel consumption for this season probably will only be about a tank or a so tank and a quarter. A season to you is what? Well, whatever we sail on the boat. <laughs> I mean, till we get to our destination and we end up, you know, off the boat, I guess. So okay. this season All when right. we're leaving the boat, you know, if we would have gotten to the Marquesas or the French Polynesia. I just didn't want to like burn you on a technicality or something like that. Somebody will burn me. <laughs> that always happens. But we yes. did what we wanted. We, we did what we wanted. We, yeah, we learned more yeah. about sailing and we made sacrifices and we chose our weather windows, which is exactly what we were planning on doing, exactly right. what we wanted to do. So we got about somewhere between four and seven days of northerly been strong northerlies this whole time so yeah who knows what it'll be now yeah, but exactly. i would guess that it's gonna be at our nose it's on the way we're gonna start prepping the boat cleaning her up packing and getting ready so basically once we haul her out onto the hard should be pretty quick really small things to take care of yep all right anyways peace Excited? Yeah. It's gonna be cold, but hopefully well worth it. So we made it north to one of these islands north of uh, La Paz, and we had to make this stop because Erica twice now has located an yeah. octopus, and it's beautiful. And it just like we've learned, uh, they leave a trail of shells to their lair, which Erica noticed amazingly. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have, and. They work with grouper, which we've also learned that they work with grouper. And she spotted the grouper as well the second time. And that's how you spotted. What did you name the octopus now? Ursula? No, I had a name. <laughs> okay. Olga. 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 Okay. All right. Let's go see. Come on. Do your work. Okay. Are your eyes tuned and ready? Tuned. <laughs> okay. Good. Let's go. Okay. Good luck. Go find him. I'm right behind you. Okay. There you go. Go, go get her.
Oh, it's a bummer. I know. I am sorry. I know you were looking forward to that. I think she's there, but I'm she's definitely cold. there. Did you see the grouper? Yeah. See, yeah. and then I thought for sure it would be around there. Know, um, I know. No. All right. Let's get in and get warm and get going. Ooh. I know it's cold. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of the game. So, we'll see how we go. <laughs> not to win. It's pretty low, but yeah. yeah. You can do it. You can do it. There's a mother with her calf, a blue whale. Okay, thank you very much. It should take us probably 20 minutes to get to you guys. So, um, you know, stay on them and hopefully they'll be there when we get there. See you soon. Okay, bye. Bye, it's going back to 1-6. Back to 1-6. Woo! What is we, we get to see a blue whale today. Maybe, 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 maybe. So those are uh, our friends on Va. Va. Paulina and Miguel. Yeah, and they are the Fontaine Pajot reps down here, actually, who helped us with our uh, emergency hatch replacement and many other things. And they were coming down as we're going up, and we happened to see them, and they're they're going all around. And we figured, oh, I wonder if they're chasing a whale. And sure enough, they've got uh, a blue whale, blue whale and a baby. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, we got him. Oh my we God! I him. think I see him from here too. We got him. Stay on it with the drone, honey. I got him, baby. I got him. Look at that. Oh my god. Whoa. We're going to see a blue whale today. I can We're going to see a blue whale today. <laughs> I can see the spout. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> baby, that's beautiful. Stay on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. They literally just, oh, yep, I see it. I see the spout. <laughs> oh. oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> That's a blue whale! <laughs> blue whale today, I cannot believe this! Oh my God. How far are we? I have no idea. I have to watch them spout again. Oh my God. <gasps> I know, I know that's all the tail basically. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's incredible! <sighs> that there are some ways that start to have confidence and they start to get closer and not to leave immediately and she's cooperating. <gasps> Okay. Thank you so much for letting us know. This is so special. Okay, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> no. Puerto Escondido can wait. <laughs> no. Wait only maybe one more. Yeah. We do not need to leave and Puerto Escondido is not going anywhere. <laughs> Okay. Man, I don't know the chances right now. We are so incredibly lucky. We are so lucky. We ran into our friends. Well, we saw them out here about two miles off and figured they were looking for blue whales. And that's exactly what they were doing. And we just got so lucky. One of the whales had popped up right next to the boat. And uh, Paulina was saying that her friend is a conservationist and he's been following these whales for 13 years in this area 
and he and says very rarely have yes. ever seen this says this is a very rare opportunity sometimes you see them from afar and the whales tend to get more comfortable and that's exactly what happened like she just surfaced literally right in front of both of our boats oh incredible <sighs> so we're not going anywhere until we see this whale again <laughs> We learned that with these blue whales, although capable of making dives of up to 30 minutes during periods of rest, it's most common for them to consistently dive for four to six minutes before needing to return to the surface for air. So both boats were keeping a keen eye on both the horizon and a stopwatch. We're at 413. Could be any minute. It's been six minutes. Oh, there he is. Yes! Woo! Wow. Wow. Incredible. <gasps> Directly in front of us. Oh my god! Are you kidding? There he is. <gasps> right there. Oh, do you hear that? <gasps> Look at that. Wow, he is directly in front of us. Honey. We're going left. We're going. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> Are you over him? Oh my god! <laughs> Wow! 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 I wanted that to happen on our trip up. It, it happened. Oh, oh, incredible! We got we? so lucky. So lucky. Just spotting them and then be, them being our friends. Because if they weren't our friends, we wouldn't have said anything. No. No. Oh man, that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a beer and then I don't know. I don't know what else. Celebratory oh beer. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Look how close we got. Yeah, so close. And the sound? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Not going up early this morning and trying to find yeah. our octopus, but then coming out here was whale so worth key. it. Whale worth <laughs> <laughs> it. So whale, whale worth, worth it. it. <laughs> it's not your Norkins.